Hi, my name is Sarah Bunin Benor, and I'm a professor of contemporary Jewish studies and linguistics at Hebrew Union College. I run a website called the Jewish English Lexicon, which is a database of Hebrew, Yiddish, Ladino, and other words used by Jews within English. And you can search for words of particular languages of origin, regions, and types of people who tend to use each word. Looks great, right? Well, there's something missing. Pronunciations. So I would love a place where I didn't have to keep asking the same questions. What if I could just click on this and then know that we were talking about Yam Hey, because see, yeah, there it is, the Yam Hakasa root. I still can't do it. I can't do it. So it's the celebration, right? The Independence Day. And I know that I know it. I've been to Israel. I've celebrated the holiday. I would use it for all the high holidays. I would use it for all the slang from Yiddish that I know now that that's the derivative of. I would use it for making myself look more intelligent when I went into meetings with my colleagues. Um, and then I'm sure it would lead down a path to other things that I'm interested in, just because that interests me. I think recordings would really help Help newcomers to the Jewish community who have all of these words that um, can be a barrier to feeling like they're truly a part of the community, um, that if they could go on their own time in their own space to hear the words pronounced, I think that would go a really long way to helping people feel like insiders rather than outsiders. On my conversion journey, I read a lot of articles and books that used Hebrew words. You know, I wondered how to pronounce some of those words. And if I had a website to, you know, just look those words up, like really quickly, and then go back to whatever I was reading, it would be very useful for me. I remember at one point we were at a car and um, I said something about Chala and he said, no, Chala. And then he made me repeat it until I got it right. The very beginning of my, uh, I guess, contact with Judaism, with serious Judaism, um, this would have been super useful. In my work with interfaith families, I often observed how hard it can be for partners from different faith backgrounds who aren't familiar with Jewish customs to know what to say on which occasion and how to say it. The Jewish English lexicon is a great resource to help lower that barrier by learning what a Jewish term means. It would be that much more effective if you could actually learn how to say the word or phrase by listening to someone saying it. You know, like, like Hala looks like Chala. If you, you know, to the uninitiated, you'd be like, you might, if you didn't know that that makes the H sound. I think it would be a helpful addition, especially for the summer, a lot of us who um, depend more on what a word sounds like and not what a word looks like. Tefillah or tefillah. Ungapat. Hazan. Polygon. The word hug. Some student always winds up halfway through the lecture raising their hand and saying, you were talking about teshuva, but then you said tshuva. Which one did you mean? And I have to say, you know, both of them. These recordings show how much uh, we are evolutionary uh, in, in our ways to be able to sh demonstrate kind of what is happening in our current moment of the history of the Jewish people and our language. And there's no way better to do that than sharing live recordings. The addition of recordings to the lexicon is important for a variety of reasons. Number one, not everyone is a visual learner and they can look at something over and over again, but without the auditory presentation, it won't click. I think it's also important for people who, um, who don't have a rabbi to ask. So the, the notion of having these recordings at people's fingertips is is so exciting for me as a, a rabbi and Jewish educator. This is a great idea. So this would be perfect for me. Mm -hmm.